Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So last week I had something strange happen when I was using the scheduling assistant trying to schedule a work order to one of my resources. So here's the scenario. I have this resource that doesn't have any work scheduled to them. No work orders, no appointments, nothing. This person is completely available for the entire next week. So when I'm trying to schedule work to this person using the scheduling assistant, this person, this resource is not coming up as an option. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what happened and why this resource wasn't showing up as an available resource to schedule on site work to. Okay, so I'm going to show you the issue that I was having. So you can see here that I have a couple of resources here, one, two, three, four, five, six to be exact, but this is really about the resource that represents myself. And you can see here, if I scroll to the side, that I am available um, this entire week, right? Currently it is noon. And um, again, also this day, I have nothing scheduled for myself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start to try to schedule this work order for a datum property. I'm going to click on find availability and that's going to pull up my scheduling assistant. And you can see here that the system is offering up several resources but the Dion Taylor resource is not a part of that, at least not for today. Tomorrow it is showing myself as available, but why not today? So I'm going to show you what the problem is here. Before I do that, I want to show you real quick the filters, right? We don't have any time from promised or to promised. We are in the New York territory. We don't have any roles or characteristics associated with this work order. The resource types, all of them have been enabled. So there is really no filtering that is happening here, right? All right, so let's exit the schedule assistant. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna navigate to resources so I can show you why this occurred. So. You can see that I have several types of resources. I have contacts, users, but I also have a facility here. So if you open up this facility, and just to explain what a facility is, a facility is really a location where work can be completed if the work is not completed on site at the customer location, right? So we can have customers go to a facility and have the work performed there. So think about, for example, um, maybe you have vehicles that need an oil change, right? You're not gonna go to those customers' locations. You're actually going to have the customers come to your facility. Same thing with, for example, doctor's appointments, right? Maybe you have certain people that need to come to the doctor's office. In that case, you're going to use a facility, but you can also assign resources to that facility. And that's what I've done here. If I click here on related and I actually want to see my bookable resource association, I believe it's this guy let's take a look no it's actually from the resource perspective bookable resource association one so in this case i can see all of the people and other resources you can also see that i have an mri machine associated to this office that they are all visible here so what this means is that these resources right dion taylor actually belongs to the Brooklyn, op Brooklyn office, right? That means that this person is working out of this office, this facility from this date 
to this date. And field service believes that if a person is actually working out of a facility, then this person will not be available for on-site work orders, right? So this person will not be available for work that needs to be performed at a customer location. And that's why this resource will not show up when I'm trying to schedule a work order at a customer location. Now let's change this date. Let's actually set this to the 8th or the 9th maybe, right? I'm going to say the 9th at 8 p.m. And because, by the way, this was set to the 10th, that's why it did show me as an available resource on the 11th. But let's set this now to the 9th. I'm going to save and close that. And I'm going to go back here to my schedule board. And I'm going to try to schedule that same work order. And as you can see, now it does show me as available because my last day at that location, that facility was on the 9th. And now it actually allows me to perform work on site at the customer location. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching and until next week.